God damn. I don't like this, uh, I don't know, I never know what to put my mic level at, cause I feel like whenever I listen back, you can kinda like hear me, like when I, like, when you open your mouth, obviously there's like moisteness in your mouth, pause, and you can like hear that, and that's kinda gross, I, I wouldn't wanna hear that, but, I don't know, I also, I'm not loud, or, I, I don't know, sometimes I feel like I am loud, so like, I, like I, I, don't, I don't really know, I never really know what to put this at. Cause I, I listen back and like sometimes when I speak really low you can't really hear me over like the car audio or like gunshot audio. <clears throat> Speaking of gunshot audio, still got it on me. Still got it on me. Feel me? Just in case. You know? I'm not a regular rapper. <laughs> I'm not a regular rapper. He was just sweeping up. That was fucked up. I shouldn't have did that to that nigga. Booted him in the back of his shit with Mama Queen's on. Yeah, let me get let me get some fast shit today. Let me pull out the demon today. What happened? He was gambling. That nigga said, "Don't invest in the FTX." He talk about the Bitcoin shit. I got you, bro. I was never a Bitcoin nigga. I like physical money. Plus, I'm just not smart. I don't know how to handle that type of shit. <clears throat> Bitcoin is like, Bitcoin is crazy. I'm pretty sure it's a way to get some money off of it, but... I don't know, bro. I feel like the way the government set up... It's probably like, it's a way to get some money off of everything, but... I feel like they're gonna find a way to like, try and... Like... I don't know if stifle is the right word, but try and like put a put a put a like I guess yeah stifle it in some type of way, unless they can regulate it, unless they can get some money. Cause I mean, you see what happened with the weed shit for a while. Niggas was getting like a lot of years for weed, <clears throat> and now that shit illegal. They legalizing that shit in a lot of places. It's a dispensary. I don't want to say on every corner, but it's it's a dispensary in a lot of places. Should have got a faster car. And this shit is—it looks nice, but this shit is not pushing the way I need it to push. Uh, this I probably okay. Thank Jesus. I was gonna say I probably missed my exit, didn't I? I don't be on the e-way. I'm not that level of driver. I haven't been on the freeway yet, so I, I, I haven't ran into that problem. But I have ran into the problem of taking too long to get somewhere. Cause when you take the streets everywhere, my nigga, that shit is not fun. Sometimes it helped me out, like, getting to my job, surprisingly, taking the streets is a lot faster than taking the freeway. But, anywhere else, taking the freeway is faster. Well, uh, one day. I like the proactive commercials. One day. Am I the only one that remembers those? Do those still come on TV? I don't really watch TV, but those, those still come on, right? They still trying to sell you niggas that? I feel like I had proactive maybe when I was a young nigga. Maybe. Oh, there you are. Yeah, I'm back. <laughs> yeah, I thought I'd see if I could talk you into teaching me a few things. Okay, let's go. First thing is make sure the coast is clear. Better get rid of that cop somehow. What the fuck? Excuse me, officer? Yes? What is it? Yeah, I, I saw what looked like a drug deal a couple minutes ago. Uh, over there. Thanks for the tip, sir. I'll check it out. <clears throat> Yo, bro, I seen, um... Drug oh. deal, huh? Well, I have to say, though, the cops in this town are kind of dumb. All right. When I feel restless, I come out here and hotwire a camera. Just for fun. Hotwire? Why not just hack it? I don't have the software to do that. <laughs> Let me show you how Did the you pros work at a do tech it. Shop? What do you I'll mean you don't have the software to do back. that? I don't think I can sweet talk them like you did, though. Um, you probably could. 
I mean, I wouldn't say I sweet talk the nigga. I lied to him. You could probably actually sweet talk him. But I seen some shit, and I, I don't really even know where to, where to start with it, cause there's two of them that I wanted to say. And I seen, I guess I'm gonna just start with the Eminem's one. I seen that that fucking um, the Eminem's people, right? I guess they're saying that um, and one of these happened like in 2015, so this happened like a while ago. What the fuck? Oh. Um, four. Okay, so then three goes there. I think that policeman's coming back. Oh, excuse me. Impressive. This bitch just had me hack a camera to get to see some pussy. Not Look at the stupid shit me? niggas do to get Maybe ass. Maybe I can find a way to bribe you later. Would you eat <clears> some <throat> ice cream? You talking about you don't have the software? I did that shit off the off the Android. This was this not even so, the iPhone for that real. That was real. um <laughs> like pretty fun. I didn't know you were so into tech stuff. Yeah, I'm you know into all sorts of crazy shit. I bet. <laughs> you know, I still don't know your name. What what do you mean? Well, look at my address book. You're still just not pinged to me. <laughs> That's cute. I like that. So you want to set me straight? Eventually. Most likely. All right. <laughs> I guess we'll see what it takes to get it out of you. Eventually. <laughs> <laughs> Let me show you how the pros do it. Yeah? You going to show me how to hack the camera? <laughs> of course. Pussy. That boy just cracked, boy. That boy just cracked, boy. And we right back in the beamer with it. I'm about to go do this. Damn, that serial killer shit is far away. Guess what we gonna do? Hustle. No, no, you stupid bitch. I'm trying to take... You fucking dumbass. Why would you steal the taxi? Oh, but, um, so I guess the Eminem is right. They have a purple Eminem route. And Eminem now, and... She's a girl, which and, and that's that's hard, right? That's not that's not even what the focal point is, or the focus point is. My focus point is that apparently they're saying that the that she's supposed to represent like um bigger people, and again, there's not even a problem with that. I I feel like everybody needs some type of representation somewhere. You shouldn't feel like excluded or like you shouldn't feel like you're not seen or you're not heard. Because at the end of the day, we are all people. Alright, so I had to get my PC shit out before I said this because I just don't feel like you can do shit like that. And not and what I mean by that is like obviously have people like have people everywhere like have people everywhere. <laughs> like representation matters everywhere, right? But I guess what I'm saying is is like how does this M and M represent bigger people? That's what I'm trying to say. Like how like you can't just you can't just you can't just say shit like that that's kind of like is that is that not is that not wrong like i don't know but my stance on shit like this is i always kind of felt like i don't really like when people go back and like like you know what people try to do now so that they could try and see more woke they go back and they like take old they take characters that were previously white and they're making them black and like don't get me wrong as a black man of course why i don't have a problem with black people getting roles in hollywood nigga i just like I would just appreciate it if they were making roles, not specifically for black people, but just giving black people more opportunities or shit specifically for black people. They was making roles specifically for white people. Not to make it too race related, but even though I just did, you feel me, just made it mad racial. But I'm, I'm just saying, like, I just don't like being pandered to. Like, if you want to represent somebody, actually represent them. You can't just show me a purple M&M and be like, no, nah, she represents big people. Because they did this shit in, like, 2015, and they showed the two female M&Ms holding hands, and they was like, no, nah, but they gay, though. <laughs> after, the, after, like, and it was, like, after um the law had got passed for gay marriage. And it's just like, bro, is that, is that not condescending? And, I mean, I can't speak for that community. I can't really speak for either of them because I'm not I'm not big and I'm not I'm not gay. Shout out to both of them though. You feel me? Shout out to both of the communities. I just if it was black, if like if they if they were like nigga like the brown M and M, <laughs> it represents black people. I would be like that's fucking crazy, bro. You can't do that. 
I don't know, bro. I just don't like being pandered to on any level. This shit, like... And again, I can't speak for those communities, but this is kind of the equivalent to me of, like, when Walmart was selling, like, Juneteenth ice cream and <laughs> shit like that. Like, nigga, Freedom Trail flavored ice... <laughs> Freedom Trail Fritos and shit, like... They had all type of Juneteenth shit, like Juneteenth cups, Juneteenth ice cream and shit. And it's just like, I don't feel like I'm being represented. If you really want to, and I'm not saying that money ha is the, is is going to make people feel represented. But if you really want to feel make us feel represented, nigga, like have Walmart commercials with more black people in it. Motherfucking, yo, it's Juneteenth month. We're going to do a highlight on specifically black owned products that we have, that we have at Walmart already and we're open to um to any black creators that would like to submit i that would like to submit their products for walmart specifically juneteenth is the spotlight on black creators month at walmart fucking i don't want to i was gonna say make like i don't know give them like not give them because i'm black but like i don't know like a shelf or something in the front just something my nigga like you fucking selling red velvet ice cream with cookie dough chunks in it does not does not make me feel represented, dog. And I feel like that's how I would feel, or that's how I would feel if I was gay and I seen the rep and I seen the M and M's. It's like you showing me two women M and M's holding hands and being like, nah, but they gay though. You feel me? We fuck with y'all, huh? Huh? Come buy some M and M's. <laughs> you and your boyfriend, or you, or you and your girlfriend. Come buy some M and M's. Like, right come now? on, my nigga. Another hit and run. Donate or oh, something. You know, like put a road. spotlight on. Yeah. Like I What's don't know. Fucking give some facts, facts about the LGBT, D, L, the LGBTQ community on on the back of fucking every M and M's packet. Yo, like it's it's June. It's done. it's Pride Month. On the back of every M and M's packet, we're gonna put some facts about the LGBTQ plus community and some sites to where you can learn more about them and to where you can donate that feels like representation or hey on the Eminem's website here's fucking here's a, a, a nigga a spotlight I was gonna say a spotlight on something gay but that sounds crazy but like you get what I'm trying to say about nigga Cause, like this like you showing me two Eminem's hold the hands does not does not that's that's kind of crazy to me that would be like if oreo was like yo black history month chocolate filled oreos my nigga <laughs> we, we fuck with y'all all february we only selling the we only selling the um the chocolate oreos my nigga all february bro i'm saying just lives. for y'all what are you doing here so sorry, and then the nigga doctor. point at the camera <laughs> nigga point at the camera like just for y'all i'm trying to get the snap to be louder but you get what i'm saying like just for men, just for black, just for blacks is crazy. <laughs> but yeah, bro, niggas be getting away with anything. And I mean, I don't want to sound like, cause I know a lot of older people would say that like younger niggas are sensitive in this culture, and I'm not trying to be super sensitive about it. <clears throat> Excuse me. And say that like Eminem should be canceled, never that, but that shit is just kind of crazy, like. It would just kind of be better if you just didn't say anything. Like, I don't think anybody was pressuring Eminem's to fucking come out and show support to any type of communities anywhere, bro. It's Eminem's. Nobody fucking gives a f like. You know the 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 um the Dave Chappelle skit where it's like, who the fuck gives a fuck what y'all rule thinks at a time like this? When have I ever looked to a bag of M&Ms for some knowledge, my nigga? Niggas want to be Snapple facts bad as fuck, bro. <laughs> Just sell me the candy, dog. I don't like you. Good, you good, bro. We not we not even looking. We not even looking at y'all for that. Like you good, gangster. Chill. It's not even. We not even. We not even on that with you. Yo, how many fucking which ways that do they want me to do this? All right. Looks like Dr. Sang is doing a lot of kidney transplants. Where are you getting your donor, Sang? Yeah, where are you getting your fucking donor, Sang? Oh, I'm about to go John Wick on this nigga. <clears throat> I go, well, I should run for president one day. You catch those gunshot victims? Yeah, you seen that political day? speech I just oh, gave her? I could, I could hey, really stand in front of a rally hey, of niggas hey, and, and, and pump some shit up. Y'all niggas was listening to Donald Trump, and that's not the bar. Cause, that, Cause if that's the bar, that means the bar is a hell. But I mean, shit. Joe Biden son smoke crack, so I feel like nigga, if if y'all still rocking with that nigga, I I should probably be able to stand on that bitch and get some shit off one time. If I was president, nigga, school would be six hours.
Because I think we could all agree nobody wants to be there. That shit is eight hours, dog. And you know what's crazy? When I got my first job, I used to think working eight-hour shifts was crazy. Like, I would be like, nigga, I could never work eight hours as I work eight hours today. But back then, I was only working, like, because it was, like, a law. Or it, it probably still is a law, like a child labor law. I think it's, like, during during the summertime, they had me working eight hours. So I guess it's during school weeks you can only work, like, four hours a day or, like, six hours a day. Nigga, we would be in school for, like, seven to eight. I mean, but uh, then... I started ditching at a certain point. I forget if it was around the time I had my job. I don't I don't think so. I was definitely skipping class around that time though. I ain't gonna lie, cause I had this history teacher, bro, and like Don't get me wrong, I wouldn't I wasn't probably gonna give a fuck about whatever she said, but dog, every and I'm not I'm not a Trump supporter, let me be clear. I don't like that nigga at all. But every fucking class it was her just shitting on Trump. Like we wasn't learning shit about history. It was just always her views on Trump. And it's like dog, I don't fucking care. <laughs> I don't motherfucker I don't fucking care, nigga. Like look, when I vote down, nigga, I ask my grandma, like, yo, what do we what do we think? And I know that that's not the best thing to say, but I try I believe in her. Forefinger Wu? What are you doing meeting 18k Red Bull saying, motherfucker? I believe in her. Like my, like my grandma's running for office. For I mean, like, I, I, know, I know my grandma's not going to lead me in the wrong direction, I guess is what I'm saying. And should I do some more research on these policies? Yes. And to be fair, she definitely does tell me to do that. Like, hey, do you want me to do this for you? Or would you like to do it? And have you done any research? And normally, nine times out of ten, I'm like, no, I don't know nothing about none of this stuff. And... I don't think that that's something that I should necessarily be proud of, and I'm Dang, not, but I also don't want to lie. I've got know? the doctor. He's doing a lot of transplants off the books, and he's got ties to an 18K Red Bull. I planted a bug in his office. You should be able to listen in on it. Because, I mean, you do still got to vote. I guess basically what I'm saying is, like, I forget where I was going with that voting shit, to be honest with you. Yeah, shout out to letting your grandparents vote for you, though. I definitely, definitely let my grandma vote for me. I mean, I do this shit. Don't get me wrong, because I don't think, I think that's illegal. I'm not saying, like, she does it. I fill it out. I'm just being, like, I rely on her answers a lot. <laughs> like, I ask her, like, hey, how do you feel about this? And is that illegal, too? Never mind. This is a joke. Ha ha. <laughs> Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Funny time. <laughs> nah, but Frodo, that's just the type of, that's just what I do. Tank, it's way. Stay on that wiretap. I expect Sang to be doing an emergency kidney transplant at any minute. He already got the call. But Way, they picked up the donor too. It's Calvin. Your friend, Calvin. Oh, big Shit. Calvin? Nah, not Calvin. I have Calvin. to warn him. They're saying he's in Central. They're already after him. But wait, you can't let him see you. Man, the only way you know up. he's in trouble is if you're a cop. I don't mean fuck, I'm not finna let nothing happen to Calvin. That's my, that's my man's nigga. That's my, that's the big homie nigga, literally. You feel me? You gotta keep you a funny fat friend. I was the funny fat friend for the funny fat friend growing up. Now I'm just the funny smoker friend. But yeah. I still like I, like my last eye doctor appointment. My grandma definitely set that up. I just I just I just I, I don't know, bro. Like I just I rely. I, I do I do rely on her for like uh, well, those parts of adulting. I mean, I'm it's not super duper crazy. Like I'm not I'm not like if I don't have like if I don't have nothing to eat, I'm not like yo. Can you send me some money for food? It's not that crazy. I'm but as far as like eye doctor appointments and shit like that, and like voting, I, I just and I know again I do. I do be asking her, like, I gotta do it. I'm gonna have to probably do taxes at some point this year. And I definitely asked her, like, yo, can I go over this shit with you so that I know how to do this? Because at a certain point, I'm gonna have to do this on my own, you know? But I don't know. I guess, it, I guess low key, and I, I don't I, I don't really say this to her because it's kind of weird to say it out loud, but it is just kind of cool to just know that your, your mom and your grandma care that enough about you to where they'll set that up for you. That's really kind of why I just let it rock, you know? Cause it's like, like I had to go get my car oil changed. I didn't, I didn't ask my grandma to set that up. I went to go do that on my own. 
but but like our doctor appointments voting just like just the other parts of adulting that i really don't have a grasp on yet if they know how to do it it is kind of nice to just know that you have people in your corner for shit that you don't know how to do so that's kind of why i'm like sometimes you just gotta you just gotta sit down and shut up nigga you know that's and I'm meaning me, like, that. that's why I let them do it, because sometimes I just gotta sit back and shut the fuck up. Like, that's how you learn. So, I always appreciate them for, 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 for looking out, for real, for real. I ain't gonna lie though, my mama wasn't going for that shit. She definitely told me I had to set that appointment up by myself. That shit hurt my feelings. I'm like, damn, my nigga, you don't love me? I'm just not your kid no more? Jesus. I got a beard and it's, it's just fuck me now, right? God damn, bro, you birthed me. You don't want to set up my eye doctor appointment? I can't see. You just gonna let me not see? I can't see without you, bro. Come on. Moms be hard on you, man. They supposed to be, though. You know what's funny? I think everybody that, that who parents, who, who parents, I'm not telling, I, mean, I guess it's not really their business, but I think everybody who parents got split up, they kind of went through this. Like, bro, I swear, like, growing up, my mom was harder on me than my dad was. Like, my dad was a lot. Like, he was, he was, like, he wasn't, like, it was sometimes he bugged out, but for the most part, like, my mom was harder on me. And I get why, obviously. She was raising two kids. It's definitely you trying to raise a man, so. Oh, my stupid, I'm not, I'm, I'm thinking I'm supposed to be following this nigga. I'm supposed to steal the car. I'm like, this nigga's a terrible driver. <laughs> I'm just fucking high rambling, I'm sorry. Let's get Calvin back. <laughs> but yeah, don't get me wrong. I'm not like, I'm not angry at her for it. I understand why. And I definitely think it made me the man I am today. Her being so hard on me because that's why I'm so punctual about certain shit. Even though, like I just said, I, like, I, 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 I'm not, like, I still ask her to set up a friend, this is shit, for, like, punctual about shit is, I guess, as far as, like, caring about family, and, like, taking care of, like, my bills and shit when they come around. That's the one thing my mom was always real punctual about, like, whenever it was, well, not the one thing, but one of the things, like, my mom was always just, and, and not lying, like, being a man of your word. Even though my mom's a girl, like my mom was real big on just being honest, and that's I'm, I, I, even though like sometimes, and I know that this is gonna be some liar shit, but I don't I don't really lie. Like I, I would rather dead ass like even if it's something that I would have to lie about, I would rather just not say anything. I just don't like lying to people. I would because the thing about it is it's like, and not to sound on some cocky shit, because it's not like nothing could happen. To okay, me. I got like, him. Bro, what's going Pulling on? Pulling doctor's you, know? you sure? Tragic story of modern medicine, Inspector. Not every patient makes it. Way. I'm leaving this guy in the parking structure off Quark Street in Central. Make sure you send someone to let Calvin out of that trunk. Dr. Sang confessed. He's done more than 20 transplants for 18K in the past two years alone. The guy gives urban myths a bad name. He'll get 10 to 20 in maximum security. We 10 to 20? When all victims were triads, I wonder how long he'll actually serve. 18K won't be happy. But I'll personally sleep a lot better knowing he's not out there. Doesn't bring back your friend. But I think it's fair to call it justice. 10 to 20 is fucking insanity, my nigga. We literally got pictures of, uh, well, I mean, not of him doing it, but we got pictures of niggas that he cut open. <laughs> So we gotta do a triad mission now. I was kind of figuring that because I think the next thing, the next little cop mission, I think it's gonna be the last one too. Like the next cop mission is gonna be the last one, but it's it uh, it don't pop up until like you do a, uh, you feel me? Oh, and I ain't gonna lie, this favor I'm gonna do. I'm we gonna do. I'm gonna do this one with y'all because this one's funny. But yeah man i don't know basically long story short from whatever i was talking about earlier just some shout out to having cool family members and uh yeah 
Oh yeah, I was talking about my mom being harder on me than my dad. I think that's just, and the reason why I think that is, I think because because nine times out of ten, if your parents got, if your parents split up, you live with your mom. So there's more stress on your mom, and your dad don't see you as much. So he's probably cooler on you because he don't really have no reason to be hard on you. And niggas probably be like, niggas probably be feeling a little guilty because they're not around, and not like not, not around like that, but they're not around you as much as your mom is. So they're just a little bit easier on you. So it wasn't nothing bad. That's but that's why I'm saying I think everybody can relate to it because it's just, it's just, it just, it's just a natural thing. Obviously, your mom would be more stressed out if you live with your mom. I want to talk about something, bro, but I don't got that much time left, and I really want to talk about this shit, too. But I'm going to just get that shot, niggas, next time. Yeah, yo, I, I ain't going to lie. I think I got fucking jury duty tomorrow, bro, and that shit, that shit has never happened to me before, and I'm so mad, because I thought, I didn't think it was an urban legend, but I thought you just, I didn't know that they was really doing that to niggas. I don't like that shit, bro, because this jury of your peer shit, I don't know what the fuck I'm about to go down there for. I don't know this nigga. I don't know nothing about nothing. What I'm, Like, I don't, I didn't grow up over here. I don't know none of these Riverside niggas. You talk about a jury of your peers. This is about to be a nigga I've never seen before in my life. What if he's out here doing shit like this to niggas, just kicking people in the face? Look, what if he did this to a nigga? And I'm supposed to say he's fucking innocent. Lock that monster up. <laughs> Look how quick that nigga just folded. And fuck jury duty, my nigga. Fuck my civic duty. I don't fucking word. Fuck my civic duty. Fucking drive no civic, nigga. I gotta dodge. Fuck, fuck civics. I'm out this bitch, my nigga. Y'all niggas have a the good day doing whatever you gotta do. Unless you have to do jury duty, then I hope you have a miserable day like I'm probably gonna have. Then uh, and uh, yeah, cause I'm that type of nigga. If I'm having a bad day, I want everybody else to have a bad day too. I'm a fucking hater, brother, bro. But yeah, go get some money. Have a good, have a good day. Telling the people, tell the people that you love that you love them. Uh, what should you go watch? You should go watch. The backyard again. Yeah. And go listen to some G Herbo. Um, I can't think of a specific song. Just go listen to some songs in the catalog because he's a great rapper. And yeah, I'm out. Bye.